Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of videos here uh, for the Exploding Kittens game. Um, I have the regular, the imploding, and the uh, not safe for work edition. Um, I will do them in separate videos so that someone doesn't accidentally watch the not safe for one if they don't want. Um, I have already opened up and unwrapped them all so I don't have to spend time doing that. But I'm just gonna kind of go through each of the cards. And we got a little pamphlet here, some of the other games. Exploding Kittens, you've got Crabs, Bears vs. Babies. I also have Bears vs. Babies, so I might do that one as well. The rule book. Alright, let's start going through some of these. Here's our backer. Exploding Kittens. Alright. So basically, if you haven't played this game before, um... The way it goes is you have, you know, so many players. Each player, each turn, just to play one card. Cards do various things. Um, the beginning of each turn, you draw a card. If it's an exploding kitten, you either have to get rid of that card or you lose the game. If you get rid of it, you have a chance to put it back in the deck, shuffle it wherever you want. You can put it back on the top for the next player, put it down four cards so it hits a certain player. Um... Otherwise, you can play other cards that do different things. Um, this is one of them. My camera will focus a little bit better. Start back here. Move up a little bit. I like to as good as I'm going to get it, I think. Alright, so this is an attack card. Now, all the cards have the names that say what they are. Like, all the attack cards do the exact same thing. Like, each of the different styles do the same thing. But they all have different names and different pictures. This one's called Deploy the Thousand Year Pack here. So, you can end your turn without drawing a card. And then force the next player to take two turns. So, basically, this lets you escape having to draw um, an exploding kitten. Um, and it forces your opponent to have to potentially draw it twice. This is a Diffuse card. Uh, via Laser Planer. So I secretly put your last drawn card back into the draw pile. So this lets you avoid your Explosion Cap, but you can use it for other cards as well. Um, so if you wanted to avoid something else and not let your opponent know what you had. Uh, yellow or the pink card to see the future. Uh, this is Feast Upon a Unicorn Enchilada and gain its Enchilada powers. Uh, you can privately view the top three cards of the draw pile. This lets you see what's coming up. So you know if there's something you have to avoid. Um, works a little bit more beneficial once you drop down below three players. So you can see if there's something coming up on your next turn or not. Skip cards. Don a portable cheetah butt. Um, you end your turn without drawing a card. So basically you don't have to even attempt to get one. The Cattermelon. Uh, so they have a bunch of cards like this that don't have the colored things. This one's gray. If you can match up two of these, you can play both of them. And then you just steal a card from opponents. So this is a cat card and it's powerless on its own. Play two Cattermelons. As a pair to steal a random card from another player. So this way you can steal uh, one of their attack cards. Maybe steal their defuse cards and build up a couple so you can survive multiple uh, exploding kittens. Here's another one of those. This is just the cat beard. Here's the first example of an exploding kitten. I wish my camera would focus better. I just keep them back a little bit farther. Alright, so this is the... Let me do this. Go back farther. Oh, the zoom in. There we are. Alright, so this is a cat eating a stick of dynamite. It blows up. So as soon as you draw this, you have to show it. And then either you have to play a diffuse card or a nope card to get rid of it. Otherwise, you lose the game. You're out. Keeps going around. There's one uh, exploding kitten card. Per each player playing minus one, because there always be one person left at the end. And then each player starts with a diffuse card, so everybody has the option initially to at least skip one. 
All right, so here we have another attack card. This one's Awake in the Barodactyl. Works the same as the other attack card, just different artwork. Kind of makes it nice. They could have just made like five different ones with all the same artwork. But just kind of keeps them a little bit more fresh. A different diffuse uh, via 3 a.m. flashlings. It's the cat farting in his face. Or frapping, as it were. Uh, see the future. Deploy special ops bunnies. Skip a common deer, a bunny raptor. Another tiger melon. Another beard cat. Different exploding kitten. Again, these are all different. This one has a grenade. Blows up your house. Uh, this is the Unleash the Caterwalkie. Diffuse via kitten therapy. Summon the Manta Shrimp. With these eyes, I see all things, regardless of space or time. Time is but a vessel for the blood soaked rainbows. Skip, exchange the Hyper Goat. Another Tiger Melon. Another Bearded Cat. Another exploding kitten. Uh, this one's playing on a nuclear launch site and accidentally hits the yes key. Or purposely, maybe. That will seem a little vindictive. Um, attack, fire the Crabapult. Diffuse the uh, participation in kitten yoga. This is the first nope we have. Um, speed your opponent a nope sandwich with an extra nope sauce. Uh, these stop the action of another player. You can play this at any time. So this can prevent someone from playing. Your diff they want to play an attack card on you. Or a skip card. Or a diffuse card. You can go ahead and just shut that down. And be like nope. Uh, skip. Crab walk with some crabs. Another tiger melon. Another beard cat. Another explosion. Uh, so it says... Warning cat hair and warp core. We'll look up the uh, spaceship that looks ominously like Starship Enterprise. So it's in the other pile. Here we have a new card type we haven't come across yet. The Shuffle. Uh, a plague of bat farts descends from the sky. This allows you to shuffle the draw pile. Why would you want to do this, you asked? Well, if someone just viewed the deck and they know it's coming up, you could reshuffle it so that they don't know it's coming up then. Or if someone just put an exploding kitten back in the deck, you might be like, well, they put it on the top for me. I can shuffle it and try and mess up where they put it. Defuse would be a tummy rubs. Uh, tummy petting protocol. Rub belly. Endure blood and agony. Quietly weep. Keep rubbing belly. You know, anyone's ever tried to rub a cat, they get scratched. A Jack and Nope bound in the room. A Nope card. A Rainbow Ralphine cat. This is the same as the uh, Tagger Melon and the Beardo cat. There's also a Taco cat, which is a palindrome, which means Taco cat spelled backwards is Taco cat. If you did not know that. Harry Potato cat. Here is a favor card. Rub the peanut butter on your belly button and make some new friends. Um, one player must give you a card of their choice. So this forces a player to keep, but it's not random, so they can choose what they give you. So maybe they have an extra, you know, hairy potato cat they can't use. They could give you that. They may be forced to give you something good, depending on how many cards they have left. Uh, shuffle. An electromagnetic Pomeranian storm rolls in from the east. Little tiny dogs. Defuse the uh, cat knit sandwiches. Om nom 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 nom. Nope. Nope. Stradamus speaks the truth. All signs point to nope. Nope. Another rainbow ralphing cat. Another taco cat. Another hairy potato. Another favor. Uh, ask for a hair, a back hair shampoo. Shuffle, transdimensional litter box materialists, and I go poo in the wormhole of a thousand possibilities. It will break the known universe and will probably also smell like poo. Uh, see the future, ask the all seeing goat wizard. Ask me questions, I can see the future because I'm a magic goat 
and that is my exceptional beard so exceptional a nope a nope ninja delivers a wicked dragon kick right to the back of the head rainbow elephant cat taco cat hairy potato cat another favor get enslaved by party squirrels there's some really weird cards. Speaking of that, Abra Crab Linking. Oh, sorry. It's, yeah, Abra Crab Linking is elected president. For sure and shellfish years ago, I heal these cards as I heal the nation. See the future? A rub the belly of a pig of corn. Nope. Win the Nope Bell Peace Prize. Rainbow Cat, Taco Cat, Harry Potato Cat, and good favor. Take your friends beard sailing on your beard boat. They look so excited. You, the USS Beard. Alright, so that's what we have for the base expansion of Exploding Kittens. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time if you check out the other videos. Bye.